Hey guys, it's been a while since I vlogged. Um, I am starting a relatively long weekend at the moment, so yeah, maybe I'll vlog a little bit. Just finished recording my uh, November favorites. Got my setup right there. Um, trying to record from the bedroom for a change. Uh, it's been, it was good so far. It was very comfortable and stuff like that. So it's Friday. Uh, I have taken the afternoon off. So I was at work this morning, but I decided that, you know what? I, I have a lot of leave to clear. Like, you get a number of, number of days of leave and you kind of have to clear it. And I do have a lot to clear. Oh, sorry. I do have a lot of to clear. Blah. I have a lot of leave to clear because I've been working so hard the whole year. Um, so I decided that today seemed a little bit okay. It's a Friday, you know, there wasn't really much going on. So I decided, okay, I'm going to take the opportunity and go on my leave. And so that, you know, the more intense days I'll be there. Um, so yeah, and Monday I'll be off as well. I so want to kind of clean up the house a little bit, put stuff away and stuff. Uh, Mim's mom is still staying with us, so she's been helping me clean the house anyway. So <laughs> I put the stuff away. This is my November favorite stuff. Have here all this stuff here. I really miss um, getting beauty boxes. Like uh, my beauty box that I was religiously addicted to was Bella box and they stopped it and I really miss getting like those samples and stuff but okay. and I digress so I am going to change and then I am going to chill in the living room <laughs> I'm gonna chill in the living room I'm going to edit lots of vlogs and blog posts and all that so yeah fun times fun times <laughs> I just finished editing my November favorites video um, video but I've got pretty good stuff in there so I don't know when this is gonna go up but yeah it's probably gonna go up in 2016 so I'm just uh, chilling I kind of cleaned up the house a little bit uh, I need to figure out what's the best way to throw away uh, some flowers which I got like you know live flowers it's always kind of um, I'm kind of like on the fence in between getting real flowers for my house or sticking to fake flowers. I'm actually team fake flowers all the way. And I know that there are people out there who are like, what's so difficult about getting fresh flowers? I actually live near a really famous florist, like a wholesaler florist. So I can just literally walk like three minutes and get like 10 bucks worth of flowers or something but I don't know it's just difficult to maintain it dies like after a week and it just in the beginning the smell is nice but it's not exactly the smell that I like and, and after a few days I find that it starts like the, the smell starts becoming a little bit funky so I don't know I'm just like not really convinced that fresh flowers is the way to go but some people are like oh my god you gotta get fresh flowers or else it's not real flowers this is like when I say fake flowers I'm not referring to like the really like old school it's so obvious it's fake kind of thing but this is the, these are the hydrangeas that I got they look pretty real right I mean I need to get something to fill up the bottom of it so that you know it'll look like you know covered and stuff but these are the hydrangeas and the leaves that I got I got these from Takashimaya and I really like it I think it's really nice and then these are the real flowers uh, which Ellie got for me for swarming they look really pretty and stuff but you can see that the water is getting murky and it's starting to smell funky and it's like from afar it looks really nice but when you go nearer I think it's starting to die so I need to figure out what's the best way to clean it up because it does tend to stain like my counter yesterday I tried to clean up and it just started coloring my counter I was so freaked out like that it was gonna stain it forever and I managed to get it off with um, some Clorox wipes so these are the fake ones that we got initially before we got the flowers for housewarming these are the ones and it's like a combination of lilies as well as uh, roses so they look like that these like we got it from I want to go home 
and they were bloody expensive as I well. just feel like it's so much easier to maintain. <laughs> I don't have time to like maintain too much. The other plant that we got for housewarming was this one which Path gave to us. This is a little bit easier to maintain. This is like a Christmas plant. I can't remember what the name of it is but it's super pretty. It looks like a flower but it's actually like a, a plant. <laughs> I just learned the difference not too long ago. So all I have to do is uh, kind of water it a few times like once every two days and it's supposed to be like uh, an indoor plant so you really need much you know sunlight and all that so which one are you on are you on team fake flowers let's not call it fake flowers let's call it um team I don't know, okay, fine, call it fake flowers for now until I find a better name for it. Team fake flowers versus team real flowers. Which one are you on? Like, so right now I'm going to go do my nails. Um, starting the glitter nails phase these days, but I'm going to paint it this particular color here, which is gorgeous. It is from the Spider-Man collection by OPI. It is just spotted the lizard it's really pretty uh right now it is buffering my video oh no it's already so i might actually upload my november favorites and then go on to edit more videos i use for to remove my um gel my not gel nails my glitter nails this is sort of like stuff that i got from tokyo i should have gotten more when i was there recently it's kind of like little um little capsules for you to kind of put your nails in and, and kind of uh, soak in the acetone so it looks like that and it's a really easy way to remove like glitter nails and all that so I like this I, sh I really should have gotten more when I was in Tokyo these sort of things you can only probably find them in Tokyo but if you don't have it you just use like aluminum foil and wrap it around your nails and it works pretty well did you get this in Hong Kong? yeah Happy birthday! What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh! It's chocolate. It's chocolate from John Hardy. Yeah. That's a card. That's a card. That's a card. I don't write cards. <gasps> it's everything. from the bamboo collection. Yes, yummy so so. Is it today? Yeah, that's why I get it now. Is it, is it a set? Yeah. Is it amethyst? Yeah. Good morning guys, it's Saturday, it's sort of like my birthday weekend in a way. Um, yeah, me and my celebrating my birthday this weekend. Um, my birthday is on Wednesday, so we decided we're just gonna do it today. I already gotten my gift, uh, if you saw it earlier just now. He got me really gorgeous uh, set of amethyst silver um, pieces from John Hardy and I absolutely love it. Um, amethyst is a stone that keeps me very calm and that's why it's become one of my favorite stones to wear because uh, I have this very serious anger management issues if I don't try to maintain it. So um, he's given me a lot of amethyst rings in the past and this is really pretty. It's very, um, it's sort of like a more chunkier kind of um, design and I love the earrings. I can't wait to wear it today. So we are going to go and head out. I just did this uh, look with my NARS um, Stephen Klein Dual Intensity Shadow. I uh, really like the look. The, um, the, it's the shadows whereby you can actually wear it wet or dry. Uh, when you wear it dry, it's kind of like some of the colors are very pigmented but some of them don't really show up. So, so the ones that I'm wearing now are the ones that um, I put the pinkish kind of color uh, on the eyelid. So, so I just got rid of the flowers 
that I was telling you about yesterday and it's just another point for fake team fake flowers it was quite a mess to get rid of it because the pollen was just going everywhere and it's it started staining my blouse yeah I threw it away but it was like such a mess and I stained my blouse luckily I'm like not wearing something too light but anyway yes Hashtag team fake flowers to head over to Lucky Plaza now. Because it's my birthday weekend, I get to choose what we're gonna eat. So we're gonna eat um, Ayam Penye at Ayam Penye Ria, which is my favourite place to eat there. And we bought some vouchers from Taka, which our friends gave to us for our swimming. And we're gonna go there and see. We need to get a fridge though. And I need to kind of get my YSL back service because I broke it. I put many things in there which is the same problem that I always have with all of my luxury bags I stuff way too many things in there so we're gonna see how complicated it is to get that bed fixed Point Break, which is this movie which I was quite annoyed at. It was a very nice movie, the cinematography and everything was quite nice. It was interesting, but I didn't like the logic behind the movie because the guys were just like wasting their lives. They didn't really care what happened to them and stuff like that, so not for me. A little bit boring actually. Yeah, so this is the restaurant. It's very nice. It's kind of like tucked away at Keppel Bay. I guess you guys probably know that Privé is here, but this is the Japanese restaurant that's upstairs. And that's my baby. We bought a couple of uh, nice stuff from Marks and Spencer's. We got a couple of things from Watson's. Oh, I got a lot of stuff from Watson's, like drugstore, new drugstore makeup, which I'm really excited to try out. And then I got some lingerie from Marks and Spencer's, which I'm also very excited to try out. And yeah, I can't wait to eat. I'm still having a little bit of uh, stomach upset, but hopefully this will not be too much for my stomach. 